In this video I'm going to work through a single integral and it's going to involve a square root of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this integral. I've got the integral of 1 over 1 minus square root of x. Now, common, after you do a lot of these, you get used to seeing that square root of x in the bottom, and that's really a good place to start with a u substitution. However, if I take a look at this, I've got a minus in front of it, and it's going to make it a whole lot simpler if I can avoid dealing with that minus in front. So one way to do that would be to pull out a negative out in front of my integral, so negative, integral of 1 over, doing that then in the bottom basically leaves me with a square root of x minus 1 and then dx. All right, And then what that does is that just frees up that square root of x so that I do not have a negative in front of it. All right, Now at that point I can start my u substitution here so I'm going to say let u equal the square root of x taking the derivative of both sides du equals, hopefully you can do that um, derivative really quickly in your head. It's going to be x to the one half. Taking that derivative you'll end up with a 1 over 2 square root of x dx and then multiplying both sides by 2 square root of x then I'd have 2 square root of x du is equal to dx. Okay. Now after you get to that point you're going to come back up and you're going to uh, do some substituting here. So I'll have negative the integral 1 over, you're going to see that that square root of x is u, so we'll make that replacement there, and then dx I will replace with 2 square root of x du. Alright, and if that's the first step you do and that's okay and you don't get all that substituting done in that first step, that's perfectly fine. You see that square root of x left over there, well it was initially u, so we can go ahead and make that a u as well. So then I'm going to have negative the integral 1 over u minus 1 times 2u du. Doing a little bit more cleaning up here, I can pull that 2 out in front and I can multiply the 1 over u minus 1 times that u. So then I'm going to have a negative 2 integral u over a u minus 1 du. Now from here there's a lot of different ways you can deal with this. A lot of people choose to break this up into two integrals. Sometimes I think that's a little more uh, challenging. So usually what I do here, I've got a quotient, all right, and I just do long division, especially when it's something as simple as u um, over that u minus 1. So if we come over here and we set up some long division so I can just do some algebra manipulation on this, I'm going to have that u minus 1 on the outside and on the inside I'm going to have a u. Now I want to go ahead to help my long division I've got uh, it would be a u to the first so then now all I need is a constant hanging out there so I can put a plus zero there mainly just as a placeholder for that long division. Okay, um, asking yourself u goes into u how many times? Well it goes in one time. I need to put it over the constant that way I know that okay now I'm done and I'm going to have a remainder. So 1 times u minus 1 is going to be minus the quantity of u minus 1. Alright, u minus u, those are going to go away. 0 minus a negative 1 is going to leave me with a positive 1 down here and finishing this as a um, 1 plus 1 over that u minus 1. I can write it in that format. Okay, just kind of a review probably from an Algebra 2 class there. Alright, but what that means is then this 1 plus 1 over u minus 1, that right there is equivalent to this expression right here, so I can just simply replace that. Okay, so I'm going to have a negative 2 square root of 1 plus 1 over u minus 1 and technically all of that is together on the integral of all of that du. I can use my properties of integrals and split this up. So negative 2 and I'm going to put some square brackets in here because it's negative 2 times this in, uh, entire integral. So now I'm going to have the integral of 1 du plus the integral of 1 over u minus 1 du. Alright, now hopefully at this point these two are very easy integrations here. I'm integrating one and it's a du, so that's going to integrate to just a plain u. So negative 2 times a u 
plus. All right, hopefully this, if you would need to do another U substitution on this, uh, we wouldn't want to necessarily use a U, but you could do um, a V substitution if you had to see this, but it's one over a quantity. So hopefully you have that memorized as the natural log of the absolute value of the U minus one. All right, and then at that point, since I have integrated, I can throw that plus C in. Now I'm ready to replace that u with what I said it was. I said u is the square root of x. So negative 2, and then replacing the u with square root of x plus natural log square root of x minus 1, and then plus c, and then going ahead and distributing that minus 2 just to, um, to finalize that answer here. So minus 2 square root of x minus 2 natural log absolute value square root of x minus 1 plus c. All right, as a final answer right there. So basically here, it is just a basic u substitution, but then getting to here and deciding what you're going to do, and sometimes I find that just that long division uh, from a, a high school algebra 2 class is the easiest way to go, and then properties of integrals will let you split that up. So definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.